26. That is how many years ago my mom decided to fart me into this world. At 28th of September 1998, I came into this world. I opened my eyes into this world and I thought of my first few words very carefully and I decided to share some wisdom. That is a time when my parents started crying because they knew I was set to do great things in this world. But before I started doing this whole thing, you know, I went straight into a machine for two weeks because I was having a hard time breathing. Now, believe it or not, I'm not a very big fan of birthdays. I don't really celebrate it. I think the only time I was truly looking forward to celebrate it was the age of 18 and 21. 18 was when I first went into my first shisha cafe and i was i put the id in my forehead i went in and that is the first time i started having shisha legally and the age of 21 as well was the time where i went to my first night club but this time i had my id super glued to my forehead i walked in i was wishing that they would id me so i can pull it out but then they never fucking id me I don't know why. I started having a beard from the age of like 15, 16. I never get ideas for shit. I'm pretty sure most of you are like a little bit surprised as well because apparently to a lot of people, I look like I'm in my 30s and I already have kids and a wife. But I hate to break it to you. Baba, I'm 26. Now I can show you my real age if I shave my beard. But unfortunately, if I shave my beard, you are going to unsubscribe 110%. I have no doubt. Now, the reason I say I'm not a big fan of birthdays anymore, I would say, before I was kind of into it, back when I was like younger, 15, 16, it was more like towards the presents. What presents am I going to get? Throughout the age of like five, six, until I was like 17, 18 years old, I was really into birthdays for the presents, but my fucking luck when it comes to presents. So my brother's birthday is at the beginning of summer when school ends. His birthday is on June. He used to get all the cool toys, the sport cars, the summer stuff. But when it came to my birthday, it was at September, September beginning of school. I kid you not. I used to get fucking pencils and school backpacks. For that shit and i was always fucking jealous of my brother when he came to that but after the age of like 21 22 there was nothing else to look forward to so i just never really celebrated it much i got surprised by like my close friends every year even this year i wasn't planning on celebrating anything but every time my friends forced me to do something we end up just having dinner as well but today my dad brother and stepmom decided to surprise me and they came over we had some breakfast they made cake already i had cake and coffee then went to the pool and holy shit the one hour pool session was so relaxing that i started farting inside that pool and I believe at 26, I know some of you will hate me and, you know, you want to slap the shit out of me through the screen. But I feel old as shit when it comes. Literally, just yesterday, I was 22 years old. Time flies so fast. Like, I can start feeling it that I'm getting old. Literally, the other day, I was coming up the stairs. Halfway through, I decided to stop and stretch because I was out of breath. And I don't really understand why people go so big on their birthdays. I feel like the day that you should celebrate was the day that you were made, the day that your mom and dad started doing shakalaka boom boom. Because that is the time you were created into this world. For me, it was in January. It was probably around the New Year's time. I was probably a mistake. I, I Well, not probably. My dad literally admitted three years ago that I was indeed a mistake. But thankfully, I was a mistake that he kept because literally two years after me and my twin sister who came into this world, two years later on, first it was my brother, then after a year and a half, it was me and my twin sister. And then two years later, it was two twins again i don't know what kind of patrol station my dad had but one thing i do know is my dad's pullout game was absolutely ass zero game because two years later another twins wanted to come into this world but for those losers i beat them first i was a mistake that they kept but uh, those two, unfortunately, after a month of finding out that they were, you know, they were conceived, we were very extremely poor and it was just too much to have five kids when you have absolutely no money. Now, on my birthdays, I don't really go big. I don't have any, like, embarrassing stories, more like sad stories on every birthday that I have. I have no idea. I, I really believe that I'm cursed when it comes to that. But, like, 2021, worst one when I was 19, when my girlfriend at the time decided to, you know, break up with me when I was 19. It was the worst fucking birthday ever. But 2021, 22, 23, it was just miserable. Literally bad experience after bad experience. On my 20th birthday, I almost died. I'm not even kidding. I had so many drinks that I, you know, wanted to puke. I went in the shower when I was puking. And then I just fell asleep in the middle of the shower with hot water. There was so much steam if I stayed there until the morning. 
Thankfully, it's all a family. If I would have stayed there, I would have died because of the fucking not enough oxygen being inside the tank. And 21, 22, 23 was just horrible experiences. I feel like the normal ones I had were like 24, 25, and now 26, which I'm just gonna have the dinner. The rest of it, we just had dinner. We just chilled, smoked some shisha, just chilled with friends and just called it. But on the non-cursed days, which is, you know, not my birthday, I do have my fun. I did have all my fun. I did a lot of things. It's not like I don't have any memories. A lot of funny, embarrassing stories, which I shared with you in a couple of the videos on this channel. And if anything comes up, I'll make sure I'll share it with you. But anyways, I just thought I'll, you know, take this time to just thank you. Thank all the 23,124 of you just watching this uh, channel, just watching me yap all day. I just like to take this time. Just say thank you. Thank you for making this whole thing happen. I honestly never thought I'll make it this far to 23,000 and we would keep on going because these yapping sessions are not gonna just stop anytime soon. Being a professional yapping YouTuber has always been my biggest stream and I read every single, believe it or not, I read every single comment that any of you, good or bad comments that you post and the good ones are really the ones that gives me butterflies in my butthole and makes me want to make video after another because for the longest time i wanted to be a youtuber but i never thought it's possible and just you know seeing your support on this channel and all the kind words really makes me you know believe in myself and want to push even more towards to whatever we're building on this channel and do not worry i'm gonna post another video tonight after my outing i'm gonna come back there is 100 drama i still haven't looked on the internet yet and when it comes to gifts do not worry i do not want anything just a simple wish whatever the fuck you want to comment it'll make me happy i do not want an iphone 16 pro i repeat i do not want an iphone 16 i don't want a range rover i know one of you is thinking about gifting me a range rover don't worry, I don't want it. Keep your money. I don't want it. No iPhone 16s. Again, I repeat, no iPhone 16s. But yeah, I just thought I'll make this video because I never really made a full appreciation video. I just thought it's since it's my birthday and I'm feeling wholesome today, I just want to thank you for everything that you've uh, done. With all the support you've been showing over the past few months, few weeks, few days, whenever you decided to subscribe and be part of this community, I love you with all my nipples. Take it easy. I'll catch you at the next one.